Hey guys, Zach here back for another video, and you are watching my vlogging update. So let's start off with some of the equipment I'm using on the new CD. So I want to mention first that a lot of you know I am using a recording software called Audacity, but in this new CD I'm going to be using a new software called Reaper. I had a lot of reasons contributed to this switch, including technical difficulties with Audacity, and just improved sound requirements, you know for my new overall sound with the new modeling cabinets, you know, amps, you name it. Also, as for my old music, such as like uh, maybe taking sides, for example, there's a lot of uh, what I would call annoying frequencies in the sound that would kind of, you know, interrupt the listening experience. And also just goes for the fact, you know, why not start fresh on a clean slate or platform, whatever you want to call it. And that mostly concludes everything for software, now moving on. So let's start off with guitars. So I got my Ibanez RG370 QMSP here. You know, this thing is really great. You know, it's a beast in all my music. And just playing this, you know, ever since having it since the Dream Theater medley, it's just, you know, really great sound, very reliable, you know, things built like a tank, as Pete Control would say. But yeah, it's really awesome. And for hardware like specifications, uh, this is just Infinity stock pickups. This piece is my Ibanez RG7421. This guitar is very rugged, very solid, it's very amazing, you know, it can go to drop G, lowest, on the seventh string, and, uh, you know, it's built like a tank, it's served me well ever since Trapped, you know, as you guys can see, but yeah, very awesome guitar. For hardware specifications like the pickups, uh, these are just uh, two H217 stock humbuckers. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is where all the magic happens, that RP360 XP pedal board, everything plugs into it, well, not like, um, you know, Master cables such as like that plugs into the jam hub or something like that, which goes into you know the um, interface to record everything. But um, this is uh, the modeling amp, which you know the simulator everything plugs into right here on the jacks. See that little headphone jack right there, controller, all that stuff. And these are just for like uh, extra cables and all that. But uh, you got your main input source right there, and uh, this. It's a little wall slash volume pedal, and uh, you kind of got your uh, little selective button switch. Well, not switch, but you know, um, scroll button. And uh, you got your other scroll buttons down here to kind of um, manipulate the uh, settings on each. Uh, what do you call them? Each effect, and like within the uh, like that effect, if you know what I mean. And last but not least, this is the MG30 CFX Marshall Amp. It is a solid state 30 watt. And it has gain, bass, middle, treble, reverb, all that good stuff. And since it's a solid state, it specializes in the built in effects. So even though some amps will have an open back right here, maybe like a PV or a Line 6, for example, from experience, but um, this one just is a solid back. Not really much to look at except that warning label. If you're into that, notch plan. But uh, yeah. And of course, I use monster cables for all my uh, instrument cables. So that concludes this vlog and update. And have a good day or night, depending on where you're living. Have a great Thanksgiving and bye.